Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is outwork your opponent. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how, how does it go? Oh uh, my God! It's again. Can we do it one more time? I, I can do it. <laughs> Good morning, Believe Nation. Today's message is outwork your opponent. Over to you, Carly Lloyd. Best piece of advice I've ever gotten is probably um, to train and, and outwork your opponents. Um, focus on yourself, compete against yourself, and uh, just give 100% every single day. You, know, you gotta practice on your own. You gotta spend ample amount of minutes, time, whether it's juggling, whether it's shooting, um, you've gotta just put in the extra work. And I think that if you do that um, in life and in anything that you aspire to to be great at, um, you're on the right track. So what do you think? Uh, I'm a strong believer in that. So when I started salsa six and a half years ago, I was not a great dancer. I repeated level one twice. And I actually, at the end of, uh, the first time I did level one, at the end of every class, I would go to the park where I lived and by myself practice over and over. And I remember I had a bunch of like, old grandmothers who were you know, babysitting their grandkids, um, uh, watching me and they were you know, talking and laughing or whatever, but I was just kept practicing my basics over and over. This line rings in my mind, hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. Now, uh, in salsa and many other things I did, I wasn't naturally talented. I had to work hard and that's what I did. And I, I, I'm a strong believer that you know, uh, when your opponent's sleeping, you know, when your opponent's having a cup of coffee, when they're watching Netflix, you should be working if you want to succeed. So you should be outperforming them through hard work. Where I excel is ridiculous, sickening work ethic. You know, while the other guy's sleeping, I'm working. While the other guy's eating, I'm working. Yeah, I totally agree. I resonate with the message too. I think um, when I look at my YouTube channel as an example, you guys can go back. A lot of you have started going back to my older videos and say what a big change has happened because the content was still good, but the delivery sucked. I was nervous and I was boring and I didn't have any energy. And it's a big difference compared to where I am now. And it just came from making, we have 3,000 plus videos on the channel. Like you hopefully will get better after doing something 3,000 times. And I think the key is finding something that you love so much that you don't mind putting in the work in the effort. Because you have to force yourself to do it. Like when you wanted to do salsa, it wasn't like I'm forcing myself to get better at salsa. Like you like to do it, it made you come alive. Yeah. Same thing with me and the YouTube channel and with me and salsa too. Like I wanted to practice. I was sitting there in meetings for my business and sitting across from a guy and I'm just imagining turn patterns. And I'm thinking if I took his hand and put it over my head and then took his <laughs> shoulder and twisted him, what kind of combination? And I've missed like 10 minutes of what we're actually talking about because I was daydreaming about salsa. Like that's what you want to find. Uh, and when you find that thing that you love so much, it's easier to put in the work. If you have to force yourself, then it's harder to uh, actually get it done. So the question today today is, what are your thoughts on talent and working hard? Talent versus working hard. Leave it in the comments below. We'll join the discussion. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Continue to believe. And we'll see you again tomorrow morning for another shot of espresso. I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going.